God bless, God bless, God bless, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless. All right. I got two messages for you. I have good news, and I have bad news. Um, which one are we going to do first? You know what? We're going to... Typically, I would do rock, paper, scissors for something like this. But since I don't have another party, we're going to use a coin. All right. Good is head, because we all love head. And then tails is, is, no, is bad. All right. All right, let's see. Let's see what we get. Really? we we'll just go deep down there. All right, head. Wow. All right. <laughs> All right, good news. The word came to pass, the word came to pass. And what was that word? The word today that came to pass was, you're going to have a divine encounter. You're gonna have a divine encounter. You are going to have a destiny helper. You are about to have a divine encounter. How do these divine encounters happen? What do these divine encounters mean? What these divine encounters are, are God already knows your path, and you and this person are destined to meet. And um, you have an appointment. You have a divine appointment. That's like how it's said. You have a divine appointment, and you're like, what time is the appointment? Where is the appointment, right? Um, and your spirit just knows. Uh, sometimes, I mean, I've had this multiple times, but because it came to pass today, you know, the Lord will tell you, you either stay in place and the, the divine helper will come to you. Your divine appointment will, will seek you. Or you will you will have to go to, to the divine appointment. And then, how did I know? Um, I, I sew, you know, sewing is just a hobby of mine. And today, the first time ever, as I was sewing, the needle snapped right in half. And I was like, well... I guess I guess that's it's time to go <laughs> it's time to go I can't I can't sew anymore I can't replace the needle in it so at this point it's time to put everything down and go to your divine appointment all right that's how you will know that's how you will know so that was that was awesome that was that was awesome all right now the bad I gave you all the good you can go and play it back the bad the bad news Oh, God. You know, sometimes being a prophet isn't easy because sometimes you do have to give bad news. And, you know, I just, I'm just going to say it. God is going to kill someone. God is going to kill someone. Someone's going to die. I said it. I only speak the truth in Jesus' name. Someone is going to die. And because it's a gift, I got, I'm like, Lord, so you're gonna kill. Me. It's it's really. I feel really sad. I don't know who's who's gonna who he's gonna kill. I don't know, but he gave me scripture, and it says, "Idolaters killed." And this is Ezekiel nine. Then he cried in my ears with a loud voice, saying, "Bring near the executioners of the city, each with his destroying weapon in his hand." And behold, six men came from the direction of the upper gate, which faces north, each with his weapon for, for slaughter in his hand. And with them was a man clothed in linen, with a writing case at his wrist. And, when, and they went in and stood beside the bronze altar. Now the glory of God, of the God of Israel, my ears ringing, wow. Now the glory of the God of Israel had gone up from the cherub, on which it rested to the threshold of the house. I have not read this yet. And he called to the man clothed in linen, who had the writing case at his, at his waist. And the Lord said to him, Pass through the city, through Jerusalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and groan over all the abominations that are committed in it. And there's sirens going off. Yeah, this is definitely like a multiple confirmation word. Wow. Lord, forgive us. Pass through the city. The siren's going off again. Pass through the city, through Jerusalem. Put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and groan 
over all the abominations that are committed in it. And to the others he said in my hearing, Pass through the city after him and strike. Your eye shall not spare and you shall show no pity. Kill old men outright, young men and maidens, little children and women, but touch no one on whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the elders who were before the house. Then he said to them, Defile the house and fill the courts with slain. Go out. So they went out and struck the city. And while they were striking, I was left alone. I fell upon my face and I cried, Ah, Lord God, will you destroy all the remnant of Israel in the outpouring of your wrath on Jerusalem? Then he said to me, The guilt of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. The land is, fill the land is full of blood and the city full of injustice. For they say, the Lord has forsaken the land, and the Lord does not see. As for me, my eye will not spare, nor will I have pity. I will bring their deeds upon their heads. And behold, the man clothed in linen, with the writing case at his waist, brought back word, saying, I have done as you commanded me. Ooh, smoke. Dang, that's... And that's, uh, idolaters killed. And specifically, it was... You know, I gave I gave a word that God was going to... There was someone that was using witchcraft. And the witchcraft was working. And this person felt powerful because of it. And in their inflated ego, they decided to attack God. And God said that, um, now I, I will not... I will not meet you as a mortal... So, because you wanted to, to fight with God, you didn't want to fight with God in the flesh, you wanted to fight with God in the spiritual. Like, someone someone conjured up some, some, some dark stuff, and God said that he was, but this, this was a very direct message. God is going to kill someone. And I remember earlier today, earlier today, I just said, God, I know you said love, but bless those that bless me, and curse those that curse me. I've, I've heard it again and those were the two things I heard today divine helper divine appointment you have a destiny helper you have a divine appointment this was part of your destiny this is aligned in the stars for you you need to go here God has already pre-written your path you were predestined to be here at this time and I was there glory to God I made it glory to God I made it and the second word was someone who is coming up against you. I said it I said it earlier today. To hate me is to hate God. To dislike me is to dislike God. And there's people who look at me and they have no reason to like me. They hate me without a cause. They they like my my soul, my brightness, my aura really irritates people's demons. And I I've already I, I said it today, I was like, God, it's just, I guess it's just the way, the way you made it. Bless those that bless me, curse those that curse me. And, um, some, angel, angel said, multiple angels, and God said, he's going, someone's going to die for coming up against you. This is, this is someone, God's going to kill someone, specifically, who has hatred towards you. Um, <sighs> repent if that's you I hope that you love me I hope that you have nothing but love for me I hope that you have nothing but nothing but love for the word of God nothing but respect for one another especially when like I don't even there's people out there who I don't even know and like people are <sighs> <laughs> There's people out there who I don't even know, and I'm like, you're doing the most? I don't even know you like that. So if you've ever looked at me in that type of way, or you 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 breathe something under under you know under your mouth, just cover yourself with the blood of the lamb. Repent for your sin. Um, but this this is someone who is. Well, God God said that he's gonna kill someone, but it's someone who is wicked. Someone who is so evil in their heart. 
someone who who could care less about God, someone who who has been warned to come to the light time and time again. Someone that if it's not like this person is literally demon possessed. This person wakes up to do evil and they go to bed happy when they succeed. That's what was said. That's what angel said. That's what prophet said. And God said that he's going to kill someone. And I just got scripture for it. Idolaters kill. Because they don't praise God. They don't worship God. They worship their own evil deeds. Who's going to see us? That if it's, if it's not me that they're attacking, they're hoping to attack someone else. Uh, and this person really tried it. I don't know what they did. Watchmen. Uh, that's a, that's a word I, I promise you the world that's a, like that's a word I'm getting right now Holy Spirit thank you the word watchman mm. you know I will say this I had security I had a security team coming to my house and my security guy was three hours away and God said he can't come specifically this this security guard. Because I have other ones. But specifically this one. He can't come. And I was like, what? God, why not? Like, my cameras are going off. Like, no, what? No, I need security, God. And he's like, you don't need security. He, you, you do need security, but he can't come. Specifically, he can't come. And I decided to disobey God. And I didn't listen. And I don't know what happened. It's like 11 o'clock at night and this guy's still not here. And I'm like, oh my God, he must have fallen off a cliff. Because I live in the mountains. I, I have no idea what happened to this guy. And I went to go pick up the phone to call to check on him. Because he didn't arrive. And when I, I went to go get the phone and God said, do not call. He cannot come. And I was like, what? God, that's cruel. Like, I'm going to check on this person. They're literally driving three hours to be like my security and I just I was like fine I'm not gonna call I'm gonna text and then we come to find out that he like God literally made a deer come right in front of his car and the way he described it I mean I hit I hit a deer with my Audi so it's pretty scary but he the way he described it he was so shooken up he said a beast came out of nowhere a beast came out of nowhere and that and then I understood why he couldn't come because the the his supervisor was affiliated with some really nasty stuff and i could not be tied to that like god was protecting me so it wasn't so much the guy it was just who the guy was connected to that's how far it goes that's how far god went to protect me because he knows that if this person got in your circle that there would be problems for you joining this person would compromise you like that, that that's how much god's hand is over my life so if god said that he's going to kill someone it's, 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 I don't lie. He's he's true. God protects me. Not to say that I I don't need security. Like oh, then if God protects you, I don't you don't then you don't need security. No no. It's nice to shop without having to need security. It's nice to go out without having you know. Now that's why I just lay low. Joanny is a rare sight to see. Cause everyone stares everyone stares and not everyone is you know it's really nice when I could just wear a hoodie and just mind my own business but it's the light you carry within you now those are the words I only have two messages for you I don't have anything else go back replay it cover yourself with the blood of the lamb um I I really feel the person who's about to die is someone who is so foul in their heart that they would literally, they, oh my gosh, wow. <sighs> I'm getting this delivered right now. If this person went to jail, they would literally prosper in jail. Like that's like, they would, they would literally feel no remorse, no guilt. They would literally just, you know, there's people who make money in jail. Like there's, there's, I've heard stories of people who make like over two hundred thousand dollars while they're in jail and like off hustling in jail 
And this person is, is so evil and so foul that God said that they would literally just prosper. Like Angel said this person would prosper in jail. That's what's coming to me right now. Someone, 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 someone who is so foul and evil is about to die. God's about to take someone out. And God don't miss. God don't miss. God don't miss. God don't miss. He's oh, number one shooter. Hmm. <laughs> Team Sniper, A. <laughs> Not that I'm like, no, fuck that. There's evil. If you're evil and you're 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 hurting the Lord and you're hurting his children and you're literally oppressing people and like you are not forgiving and you are just ruthless. You know, it's it, it, it's insane because as as a when I was a soldier, I remember that there would be like you gotta understand being being a soldier is a mentality. That whole mindset, it's a mentality. And there would be guys, like, I, like there are guys who are so, like, soft in their heart. Like, they're not mentally capable to go to war. And you have women who are mentally fit, mentally strong to handle that type of, like, it's battle, it's war. Like, I gotta take you out. If it came to, if it came to us getting home to our kids, us getting home to our families, I'd take you out without a problem. You know? And for some, it's a very, like, psychological thing. And now that like I'm in the Lord, I asked God, I made a video about this before. God, if I killed someone, would I go to hell? Like if I had to defend myself and I had to kill someone, would I go to would I go to hell? And it really is like on a case by case basis. Like you didn't wake up wanting to kill someone. And like even then, like I know like where to probably take you out. Right? Because as a woman, as a person who is small, you have to be smart. It's not always about being strong. It's about being smart. So I know if I hear here, you'd be out in like, come on, let's not play. Let's not play with mad scientist Juani. Come on. I don't want to take it there. But what I'm saying is that it's a mindset. And now that I'm in the Lord and I asked him, it's a case by case basis. You didn't wake up wanting to kill someone. I don't know why I have to say it. Like, am I talking to a serial killer or something? I don't know who this video is going to reach. But if you, you know, like God forgives, you didn't, a home intruder. If someone breaks into your house and they're on drugs, they're a meth head, right? And they have no type of like, they're not coherent. They are, they are not competent in any type of way. And you kill someone, right? I mean, obviously like you gave warnings, right? You call 911, you're telling them to stop. And like, they're coming after you. You know that this person, like you, your life is at risk and they're trespassing. Then that's what they get. You know, obviously I wouldn't attempt to kill someone like first shot, like one shot, one kill. I would do a warning shot, you know, maybe like not like head shot or like heart race, uh, a major artery, but specifically, specifically I'd give them a chance. And if this person continued, right, then I would do a lethal shot. But the Lord sees that. The Lord sees your heart. The Lord sees that you need to live. The Lord sees that you're protecting others. And that's a that's a case by case basis. That's how he is. When you go to heaven and you and you have to go to 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 account for everything you've done in your life, he's gonna be like that. But this person's so wicked and evil. This person seeks to to kill, to destroy. This person seeks to to cause pain in the world. I don't don't feel bad. The Lord said, Don't pity them. Don't pity someone who, who is literally going out here traumatizing people. I'm telling you, the only reason I survived what I survived is because of Lord Jesus. Amen. The only reason I survived the trauma that I survived was because of who? Because of Lord Jesus. Never felt anything like that. And if, if that's me, if that's me as mom, what do you think my kids feel? What do you think my family members feel if they haven't received Christ? And that's my personal testimony. The only reason why I'm alive, why I'm still mentally sane, coherent, sound, prospering because of the Lord, because of God, because of God. This is, this is someone who is very, very evil. Do not pity them. The Lord says, do not pity them. They worship idols. They literally worship human beings. They don't worship God. They don't, they, they, and they, and even then they go, I already said it. This person is so evil that they pay. They, they know they don't have any like spiritual authority, but they pay, uh, they pay some kind of like voodoo doctor or something. 
And they, they've been spending a lot of money and none of it's working because I'm covered with the blood of Christ. Because we are covered with the blood of Christ because we belong to Father God. This person, the Lord does not lie. And idolaters, idolaters killed. The Lord, <laughs> you got to understand the Lord doesn't have to send anyone. The Lord could literally stop your heart. The Lord could literally drown your car. The Lord could literally flip over your car. The Lord could literally send a deer and cause or a beast to come right in front of your car. I don't, it's like X-Men. That's what I'm getting like. Whew. It's that easy for him. Someone, 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 someone is going to die. Now, on the brighter note, if that ain't you, if you're like, I love God, I don't know what you're talking about, I understand that there's wicked people out there, that's not me, then it's a, then you get the first message. You get the first message. The first message that you have a divine appointment to be somewhere. And how are you going to know that you have a divine appointment? Because literally, everything's about to stop. And you're like, well, it's time to go. That's literally how fast it's going to be. You're going to be able to make that decision like me today. My, I can't believe for the first time ever my sewing machine, my needle just broke in half. Like that, that doesn't happen. It's literally a brand new sewing machine. Oh, oh, gotta go. That's how you know. Or, or, or someone's going to come to you. You got to seek God. You got to find out. Those are your messages. Cover yourself with the blood of Christ. Father God, forgive us of our sins. We don't we don't we don't pity anyone that that hates you. We don't we don't pity anyone that's causing evil in the world and wickedness and someone who, who doesn't even all oh, the Ten Commandments. God said stay in your Ten Commandments and you're gonna be fine. That's a that was for me. So if I'm here to tell you that, I need to read my Ten Commandments over again. Like uh, initially I needed to post them like on the wall. I don't know what that is for you, but I know I need to print out my Ten Commandments. I don't have any other messages for you. Uh, blessed Tuesday. And uh, God God bless me. God really bless me. And I, I said, bless God bless those that bless me. And curse those that curse me. He is true. He is faithful. He is the almighty. He is powerful. He is sovereign. Amen. He's my best friend. Even though he's like my dad. He's Abba. He's father. But he protects. I don't know who did what, but I know someone's going to die. <laughs> don't pity them. Don't pity them. Don't pity them because you're going to be in the same boat as them. Uh, Alright. God bless you.